The new Audible book you're doing called Never Ending Present, the story of Gore Downey and the tragically hip. So what does it mean to you to be the voice of this book on Audible? Uh, this is a band I care deeply about and uh, they, their impact on me and us in this country is not insignificant. So when I was first approached to do it, I took that seriously because I care deeply about them. Yeah, I like them. I like the band. You know, I was getting a motorcycle license when I was a teenager and I remember I was in a parking lot. That's where you get, get the motorcycle license at Humber College. And there was this bleached blonde girl wearing cut off shorts and cowboy boots. And she used to throw booze camp parties in the gay village in Toronto. She was the coolest girl I'd met to that point. And uh, we're, she was taking the motorcycle course too. And when I was a teenager, she was probably 17 as well. And we got in the car, my mother's Pontiac, and we were gonna go get lunch in between motorcycle courses. And she was going through my cassette collection of all my music in the car. And she picks up Road Apples by the Tragically Hip and she looks at it, she goes, awesome. And that was like, oh my God, this cool girl just totally endorsed this, you know? It was one of those moments as a teenage boy where you're like, oh my. It was a really big moment. But so that's not why I like to hit with the band, but I, that's how but far back, that's how far back we go with them, right? It's just like they meant something. And, they were like this bar band that, that, were, that were more than that. There's, each member of that band does their own thing. So I think coming to know them as a fan early was important. But then getting to know them as, a, as, as an interviewer and as a music, radio, and TV person was always fun.